Hey guys, so um, this is the uh, Wing Chun uh, primer, which I was uh, mentioning before, okay? I know some of you guys, uh, we were about to start uh, doing some training uh, in the Wing Chun and then this whole thing with the COVID-19 happened, okay? So anyways, we'll, we're, we're gonna uh, go over some drills and things that you can do in the meantime on your own. And so that way when we actually start up in person again in a few weeks hopefully uh we're gonna you, you'll already have some basic knowledge okay so i want to go over some basic uh, ideas concepts and techniques drills for you to work on okay so first of all um just go just go over some some basic concepts if i haven't explained to, to you already um the concepts of, of wing chun are, are really quite simple okay uh we're looking at the center line okay now just um I'm not going to go into too much detail right now. I'm just going to give you a brief overview, okay? For the center line, you've got one line going right down the middle of your body here, okay? Most of your organs are located along that center line, so you want to protect that, okay? You want to protect your center line, and you want to dominate the opponent's center line, okay? And the way we often do that is to take an angle, okay? We have our body separated into what we call four gates, four sections, upper right, upper left, lower right, lower left. I want to have all my weapons facing two of his. If he's angled to me and, and, and he's got his shoulder to me, I got everything. I, I got four, four weapons on two of his, okay? That's, that's uh, the, the, no, the simplest way to dominate the center line, okay? And the other concept, which is very important, uh, straight line, so center line is very important. Straight line attacks. We do have curve attacks too, don't get me wrong, we, there are elbows, and there are even round kicks, and there's hook punches, we have those things too, but the main focus is the straight line attacks, everything goes in a straight line, okay? And um, so take the angle, straight line attack, and we also want to stick to the opponent, we want to close the gap, okay? A lot of times I see people staying on the outside, and they're out here try and, and trying to like pick up shots, and, and they're not going in. Okay, if you're staying on that outside range, the opponent, if, 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 if he's good, he's got you right where he wants you. Because he sees you doing that and you're, and you're so defensive, you're not uh, going in, you're not aggressive and things. You, you, you're not, I mean, don't, don't, don't be uh, you know, reckless going in, right? But you have to, you have, to have some aggression to, to go in and to attack the person. Okay? Once it's on, it's on, you gotta go, all right? If you're staying on the outside like this, you're, 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 you're dead, okay? Okay, so those are things. Um, now, there's a couple other center lines I want to discuss too. One is the mother line, which goes right from the top of your head down to the ground. Okay, that's like kind of in the middle of your body. So when you move around, you want to move that mother line, that, that mother line around with you. Okay. And there's one more, and this is uh, sometimes called a central line. Okay. Um, I, I, there's another name for it, but we'll just call it that for now. Okay. And what it means is that if you're angled a little bit. You, you want to be the point where you can't, um, like you, your, your hands can still touch each other, see? And so I'm angled. So here, I'm angled. I can still touch it. So even though my, my body is a little angled that way, I'm still on center. I still have control of my center line. I still, I still have that. I can slip, I can, I can move, I can do all those things. I have control. I'm not bladed like this. I still have control on my center line, okay? It's called the central line, all right? Okay, there, like I said, there's other names for it, but that's the, that uh, term came from uh, traditional uh, Wing Chun uh, taught by the Chung lineage, okay? Um, so anyways, okay, so we have that. Now, now, now I'm going to talk about the stance, okay? We call Yi Ji Kim Yung Ma, or Character 2 Stance, okay? In Chinese, a Character 2 is one long line and then one short line above that, so it's like this. So your feet open up. You can see my feet here. Okay. Drop down, open, and here. Okay. This is the training stance. Okay. Not a fighting stance, a training stance. Okay. And that's the thing. So you want to do a lot of your drills in this stance. All right. Now to make it into a fighting stance, that's it. Now I'm in a fighting stance. Or I can go the other way too. Right. Now I'm in a fighting stance. Okay. But the thing is that no matter 
it's very important because you use it as a measuring as a measuring stick kind of see so because no, no, no matter where no matter which way i move i may move here i may move here i may kick i would do all these things like that but i can always close back into the stance the same way i opened it up okay so we use that as a measuring tool and as a training method because when we have this triangle formation here we're developing a very strong root so when we so this is like like a right leg a rear leg and that's a rear leg and this stance that's a rear leg and this stance that's a rear leg so you're pushing off okay pushing off and you have this very strong root okay so work on that stance all right and uh, i'm gonna go over some of the stance movements now as well okay and um i know we're rushing through things a bit but i just want to give you all the goods right now okay all right so here we're in there the stance here now this is what's called a shift see now traditionally the way i was taught we shift on our heels because you want to you know not lose our center okay now what happened is that as time went on i found that by shifting more on the center of my foot see i'm still i i found this to be a bit better for me because it facilitated going forward a bit more easily okay um that works for me not necessarily for everyone else but the one thing you want to avoid one reason why they teach to the shift on the heels is because you don't want this to happen when you're swinging your whole body out okay this sucks okay all right you don't want that you uh, i shift that way i'm not actually shifting on the ball of my foot i'm shifting more in the center so i'm not losing my positioning i'm not swinging out I'm, I'm not right see i'm still i'm still there okay so you have a shifting okay so one two three or on the heels okay you have to experiment a bit just remember no don't lose your position okay boom 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 then step forward see step forward step forward see so I'm, I'm bringing the leg towards the other one and then stepping in to the tip of the triangle. I'm at the base of the triangle and here's the tip of the triangle. So I'm just in here, all right? You know, at the uh, Wing Chun School, Sunny Tang, where, uh, where, where I learned, um, they used to have the, this uh, black uh, tape, electrical tape on the ground and we would just use that you know to step along and practice this footwork pattern in my basement i use painter's tape but the same idea so i won't muck up my floor okay so same idea right so here so we have shifting 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 or center shifting stepping stepping okay and then we have straight ahead movements uh, box stepping, so forwards, forwards in the same lead. This is a boxing drill, a box step, but it works in Wing Chun too, okay? So one, two, back, 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 step, step, side, back, side, forward, okay? Okay, make sure that you know if you, here we go, okay, so once again, okay, step, step. So I'm pushing off with my opposite leg. If I'm going forward, my right leg pushes off. If I'm going this way, my left leg pushes. Then my left leg pushes. Then my right leg pushes here. My right leg pushes again. Okay, it's a push step, all right? So we have the basic stance. We have the shifting. We have the angle step, what's also called Hunma in uh, Wing Chun terminology. And then we have this straight ahead stepping and uh, box step, all right? Next thing I want to work on is the uh, punching, okay? Um, very, very important. Uh, don't, don't try and be one of these speed demons who tries to get really, really fast punches because the punches usually suck when you see that. They end up doing this kind of nonsense, okay? Take each punch, get your stance here, and drive with that elbow and go forward. Use that root. Use a root. Okay, don't shift yet. Just practice and use the root get that elbow see and the elbow drives the fist out drives it right forward okay fist is vertical let's right out 
the elbow pushes the fist out, okay? Okay, each one. Don't, don't worry about going really fast. Just make each one deliberate, good positioning, and use that whole body, okay? Because I'm using my root, I'm using my hip, I'm using my lats, I'm using the entire body to get these going, okay? Okay, don't do this crap, okay? Boom, 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 okay? So, now to coordinate that with the stepping, okay? So we have the shifting. One, two, three, step that. Then we have the straight ahead stepping. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See, just time it with the landing of the foot. If I'm going forward, it times with my, my lead foot landing. Backwards, times with my rear foot landing. Okay? And then we have the other one with the, the triangle step, the hyun ma, okay? So, so here, There is, there is a pulling back action too, as I, as I do it, see? Here's a lead punch. Now here's a rear punch. Okay, so we'll, we're gonna stop it there for now. There's your drills to work on, okay? You have your stamp, once again, set up. Your stance here, E.G. Kim Young Ma, character two stance. Okay, so let's get here, sink, stay at this height the entire time you're doing your drills here. Okay, shifting either on the heels or on the center of the foot. Make sure whichever way you do it, your body does not go swinging out. That's the whole idea, okay? You have to be ready to go okay always on balance okay we have the box step one two one two three four and then we have Junma triangle step okay so just practice the punch using all of those, the shifting, the straight step, and the hyun ma, okay? And work on the stance. Also do plenty of punches in the stationary stance. Don't even move, just, just work on that and really feel it. Right in that stance, okay? All right, try to work on these drills about half an hour a day or so, and uh, maybe a little longer if you can, okay? And hopefully I'll see you guys soon, okay?